One of the important things about coding is modularization and reusing code. So one approach you might have when downloading, say, some JSON from the web, you might want to display a spinner on the screen. And you might do that with a subview, and that's absolutely fine. But another approach might be to create a whole view controller. And there's one on the screen there which is just setting up a spinner in the center of the screen and setting up some constraints to make sure it's in the middle. Nothing too exciting. You can think of other interesting ways that you might reuse a view controller and why you might do that. But for this example, I think a spinner is fine. So we have a view controller and all we're going to do is set up that spinner as a child view controller. So this would be loading VC which is going to be our spinner view controller. And within view did load, we can set up a load. So that's indicating that we're going to load some content and we're going to have a view controller to block the user interface while we do it. So here we go, we add child, which is going to be our loading VC. We then add a sub view, which is going to be our loading VC view. Now that's automatically going to become the height and width of the screen, so we don't need to do anything with constraints or the frame or anything. And we tell it that it has moved to the parent. So as soon as this comes on the screen, we would load our content view controller. And then we'd want to do something in the background, like actually get data we're going to display. I'm not going to do that in this example. I'm just going to set up a delay. So I use dispatch group main.async, async after, if I can find it. Okay, so that will be now, and I'll just go for a second and then we'll want everything to disappear so I'm going to have a func to remove content view controller so now I want to do the opposite so I'll tell it that it's going to disappear and so that's telling the current view controller in this instance called view controller Loading VC view dot remove from super view. And we remove it from parent. Loading VC dot. And we'll have to call this, and it's within a closure, so we'll need self. And let's see how this looks when we run. the build successful okay that's the loading and after a second it disappears so if we can just make that happen again because a second's quite quick installs and we see that loading screen and it disappears so one of the major advantages here is that it's modularized so we can reuse this anywhere and the second part is that it's nice and self-contained and doesn't even need the awkward constraints here because it's a, view, a child view controller that will take up the whole screen. So a big advantage of controller view containment is that you can reuse the child view controller in many different situations. So this is an example where you might have a music player and you want to use it in many view controllers. So on the screen here I've got a very simple view controller. It's not doing anything of real interest. Basically it's a play button in the middle of the screen and when you press it, tapped is written in on the console. Not brilliant. But for this example you might have that play button for various audio files or video files or some other use. So you want to reuse it. 
So I've just got a blank view controller and I can use the storyboard to set up my view controller containment. So here's my view controller and I can add a container view. I'll just put that right in the middle and I'll set up constraints so it's centered horizontally, vertically, and a fixed width and height. And I've got this view controller here, and it's kind of the same, I think exactly the same width and height as my container, which could be any width and height. So I'm going to make this class to be my music player view controller. So what I'm expecting to see is in the middle of the screen, a little contained view controller with a play button. And when I press the button, it displays on the console play or tapped. There you go. So that's pretty good. And I could use that in many different circumstances throughout my app. So it's modularized. So rather than setting up a view that does the same thing, I've got a nice reusable view controller.